Hi. When I decided to learn T-Line shorthand, which is a method used by journalists, uh, I couldn't find an app that could help me. And as I like building apps, I've developed this free app to uh, help myself and others to learn T-Line faster. The app takes any words you enter and displays the T-Line shorthand for you. You can display the basic T-Line letters individually or join them together as words. Um, you can add advanced T-Line representations such as uh, indicators, uh, common abbreviations and what are called letter blends which is ways to draw two letters quickly. It also, uh, when you use any of the advanced features, will allow you to colour them so that you can see them easily um, and learn them uh, faster that way by visualising them with the colours. I've built the app using Live Code Community Edition, which I highly recommend to people to build uh, their apps with. It's a fantastic product. Um, I've built a version for uh, Mac, Windows, Linux and Android. I've tested on all those platforms. Um, I haven't yet done one for iPhone. I believe it should be fairly straightforward with live code, um, but I haven't done it yet. So to the actual demonstration, um, let's have a look. Here's a T-line here. Um, these symbols here are T-line symbols. Uh, this T-line sim symbol here represents the word welcome. Uh, that's a W, that's an L, that's a C and that's an M. So the word welcome you can see has been abbreviated to WLCM. Basically the vowels are removed from words unless they're the beginning and end and needed. So welcome is WLCM. 2 has got both letters because there's a vowel on the end. T line is just TLN and mate is just MT because that E on the end is silent. So any sentences you enter the text will get reduced and then those letters form the individual T line letters. So for basics if we look down here there's a little basic section. Um, if you want to see the T line alphabet you just press that button and it displays each of the T-line letters. You'll see this uh, goes across the screen here and I can move this little bar here to to look at all the words. It, sometimes you might put in a really long sentence that needs to go and it, it will go quite away. Um, so you should be able to see quite a lot of large sentences. You can also look at sample sentences. So for example, here's the boy stood on the burning deck, the famous Spike Milligan poem. First line of that. So there's T H E B and Y. The O is taken out of the middle. S, T, and the shorter stroke D. So any other sentences, uh, some of them are quite long sentences um, that will go off the right of the screen. Again you can just scroll across to see all the sentence. So let's clear those. Now we'll have a look at the, uh, the more advanced T line. Um, First of all, we'll look at indicators. Um, to understand, you turn them on like that, and there's a little button there that you can show all the indicators, and you can also colour them. So I'll colour them red, um, and show them. So <clears throat> this indicator here is the A indicator, which is a lot shorter than the full A. So if we take a look at a, just the letter A for example, if we just draw that, that's its 
it's no I haven't got indicators on so that's the normal A and with the indicators on you'll see that it's actually a much simpler stroke just a, uh, the right hand side of the A in fact so clicking show will show you all of the indicators there's uh, the E indicator and the I indicator um, if you remember AEI the A slopes down from left to right and the I strokes up from right to left uh, this is the ing the ending of a word it's called the G indicator the ending of a word that's T-I-O-N is the end that's uh, above the line as is the ing this is the SH sound uh, M-E-N-T word ending E-N-T word ending uh, and so on so these uh, indicators allow you to basically take shortcuts and write slightly shorter symbols so if I took the words uh, the words say thing um, you'll see the T and the H drawn and the G indicator is there if I turn the indicators off and draw that then thing is written T H N and G so that's the four word so that's indicators. Uh, now let's look at abbreviations. You know, I'll show you those. We'll colour those green. So the word question is just a Q. Very is a V. L letter is just L. U is just Y. Um, w is just W. M is just me. So they're the uh, abbreviations uh, I've been able to determine from uh, the various texts on the internet. That's abbreviations. Uh, blends. Um, we'll colour those orange. So they're uh, words that uh, or pairs of letters that um, are drawn basically as one symbol. V is very much like the T and H itself, except it just uh, flows. Um, M and R is actually an M, but it's double the size. A normal M, uh, if I put an M on the end here and draw that, you'll see an M is only that size, but a double size M means MR. A double size T, I'll put it a normal T on the end there's a T, a double size T is a TR uh, an F drawn halfway across the line is FL uh, a P is PL um, a double size D is a DR on the line and H V is actually an H but it's slightly sloped. I'll show you a normal H. Uh, here's a normal H on the end, but this is actually a sloped H with uh, a V on the end. So that's what blends. There are there are a few blends, not that many, but there are a few. You'll find also in textbooks uh, there are people that make other blend arrangements and uh, some of those are quite personalised. Um, these are the ones that, the principal ones I've been able to find. Now, if we go back to, uh, let's just take the word thing uh, and draw that. Um, there's this option here, suppress joins. And what that means is all those letters, the T, the H, the N, and the G, they're all joined together. If you suppress the joins they'll appear as individual letters so you can sort of easily break up a word just to see what it looks like. So let's suppress joins. There are other options uh, when you're drawing. You can alter the drawing speed so you can see how the words are formed so for example 
if I put in um, welcome to T line and draw that with a very slow speed I'll um, make sure everything else is off and I'm going to draw this slowly W L C M so that's W L C M T O T L N so ordering the drawing speed you can um, learn a little easier that's why I put that in there until you pick up speed yourself at full speed if I draw the same thing it's bing 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 uh, it's probably faster than anybody can actually ride it probably normal uh, riding speed would be probably somewhere in the middle somewhere about uh, maybe a little bit faster than that and below that is word spacing um, here's the space between the words here <coughs> you can write it so the space is reduced uh, I might move that drawing speed back up and there's a tighter space between the words so that's uh, sometimes with big sentences uh, you may need to expand the words for example if I um, if I take the boy still on the burning deck and reduce the word spacing right down um, it's a bit tight to read especially the, the burning deck is more or less overlapping so just bumping that up a bit um, the burning deck gets separated I tend to leave the word spacing right out there if I'm using the desktop version of T-Line Mate um, if I'm using the mobile version um, then it's uh, uh, probably best to have the spacing down a bit so that's uh, the draw T-Line page you can pretty much enter anything you like into here um, you'll find uh, if you put in certain letters um, like for example numbers or things like that say I'll just put in uh, one and two and another word um, you'll see the one and two don't actually get translated in T line numbers are put in you just write the number and put a circle around it um, but I haven't actually done that in this because you know numbers can be quite big and complex and writing the circle around them uh, is a bit, a bit hairy so I decided that uh, I would just ignore them so let's clear that now <clears throat> uh, sometimes I would suggest that when you do learn words um, that you maybe use the sample sen sentences um, to see here um, have a look and learn the compression how you reduce the words it'll become more obvious as you use it and you'll, you, you can even use this as a shorthand form of English uh, for fast writing without um, without actually doing T-line so it's a handy skill to have to know how to abbreviate words <clears throat> finally uh, there is a help system with this there's a little bit of background about the application um, uh, this is an early version I haven't uh, it will it is available on github where you can download it and uh, this video I'll put the reference to that in the help uh, before I release the app um, there's a, a description of the basics of T-Line uh, indicator usage blend usage uh, abbreviation usage uh, the drawing options I mentioned um, and uh, links to various uh, places and references that I've found on the internet that are useful um, as I say it's free so there's a GNU GPL license there you can use it any way you like I do need to make one correction um, previously I did talk about blends you can turn blends on here and uh, 
I color them orange generally. Uh, this particular one here, PL, is actually a P across the line. I think I said earlier in the video it was, uh, sorry, it's an L <laughs> across the line. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, not a P. So that is the letter L that is halfway across the line and that is PL. Um, so to sort of see this uh, a bit more clearly, um, I'll just clear this and uh, I'll put in a sentence here, please pass me the apple. There's a PL here and there's a PL uh, here in apple. Now when I draw it you'll see uh, I haven't turned on blends but you'll see there's a P and L abbreviated together there and a P and L abbreviated together there. Now if I turn on blends and colour them and redisplay that you'll see there's the PL blend there, P, so PLS please, and Apple is an A with a P. Now if I use indicators as well, colour those, you'll see that Apple is actually the A indicator and the P blend. Uh, so it gives you an idea of uh, how we can um, cut down the amount of writing that needs to be done with indicators and blends. I'll use a more um, a more significant one. Uh, so if we draw the sentence, which is quite a long sentence you can see here, if I turn on all of the features, I won't suppress the joins, but I'll, I'll turn on all of the features and draw that same sentence you'll see it's simplified dramatically. The uh, the is pretty, it's not too different but um, is is an abbreviation. Uh, star, you'll see that star abbreviates to STR and TR blend is the double size T. There's a normal T there, there's a double size T there so that is the word star, STR. Uh, at's got the uh, indicator. Um, so there are lots of examples there and the colouring you can see helps you distinguish abbreviations from indicators and uh, and blends. Now finally I'd like to just say there is a section uh, in the help uh, called known problems. Um, at this stage there aren't any serious known problems uh, other than to say that people do make up their own blends. You'll see different T-line schools teach slightly different um, advanced blends and things. I haven't tried to incorporate all of those because I think they're very much um, part of how people develop their advanced T-line skills. Um, the idea with this app is well, it was basically for me to learn it and learn all the common blends and indicators and abbreviations um, and I'm sure as uh, I use it more and more I'll start thinking about my own uh, special blends and letters and so on. The only other thing uh, I would say is that it, it, it is uh, free software. Um, I'd encourage you to uh, learn live code uh, which would mean you could actually take it and customise it further for yourself. Um, it really is a fantastic product and it's what's enabled me to make it available for so many different platforms. So that's about it. Thank you very much and uh, I hope you enjoy T-Line Mate.